Hey guys, it's Stacia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I will be discussing my September reading plans. Since I just went back to school, I'm kind of reading as I go, so I don't really have like a set TBR really, which is weird because I always have a TBR, but I don't know how much I'm gonna be reading yet, so I'm kind of still getting a feel of like my classes and stuff. So I figure not to overwhelm me. So in the month of September, I'm only doing one readathon. That's crazy. And it will be Becca's Book Uplathon. If you would like to see how I set this up, I'll leave my video up in the cards and down below. I just posted that. If you don't actually know how Becca's Book Uplathon works, I did her like test run, the 48 hour one a couple months back I believe and I'll leave that down below and in the card above if you have not watched it but I vlogged for that one and basically you roll some die and then you go around the board so it's kind of like monopoly basically so the rule is you start at go um if you roll a double you add another roll so if I were to theoretically hopefully not roll a double on my first like roll then before I roll again I would need to I would roll again get another prompt and read those two books before rolling again basically um so yeah so those are the two things and then I think she says if you have like nothing to read for a prompt you can re-roll and get a new prompt but you have to read two books out of those prompts so I'm gonna try not to have to re-roll now so there are two books that I'm going to read this month regardless of my roles, but hopefully it fits in the roles. So the first one is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I'm going to be reading this one for the Miniathon Buddy Read. So I'm really excited for this one. I mean, it doesn't seem like a long read and I usually fly through books like this pretty quickly. So that's exciting. And then the second book that I'm reading for the Miniathon, but also the Late Night Book Club, and that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This will be my first book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, the font is really small. If you've seen my vlog for the last Bookopoly, yeah, I didn't get to this one because the font was really small. But I do have an audiobook of this right now. So hopefully, like, my first roll will allow me to read this one and I could just knock it out of the way. Um, if you do not know what the Miniathon or the Late Night Book Club is, I'll leave them linked down below if you would like to join either of them. But yeah, so my main focus for the Book Oplathon is to read books I own. I'm going to try my very best to not like get ebooks, and I'm going to only try to read books that are on my shelf because it's getting out of control. I just, I have too many books that I haven't read, so we need to get those read. So... I have done zero rolls and I'm doing zero rolls now because I'm doing it all in my vlog, which I'll actually start on Monday, so it'll be fine. But I will go over both my community shelf cards and my chance cards. So my chance cards, they are all books, right? So they're books that, you know, you're supposed to do like half you really want to read and half you like don't really care to read. But I didn't do that. I had my husband come in look at my shelves and I was sitting there so he would pick a book and if I haven't read it yet it went in the pile and honestly the pile is a mixture but nonetheless I will put a picture here of all the books he ended up choosing and they are all on here so a few of those as you can see is like station 11 we were the lucky ones you know the bell jar he picked all the bright places he had he picked a couple arcs that i didn't even know i had every breath nicholas sparks so there's like there's a wide range so i don't know how i feel about that for the community shelf prompts i honestly could have got these backwards but I don't think so hopefully not so the community shelf cards are actually prompts so these are supposed to just be like a whole bunch of random prompts and what i did was i actually took the bingo board from the miniathon 
and I put all of those plus a few because I didn't have enough into here. So everything on that board is, is a card in here. And then like a couple more that I just thought of because, but yeah, so as you can see, there's like underrated books, September release, which would be hard because I'm trying to read books I own, um, a school read, which is easy, you know, title that begins with M, you know, just stuff like that. So that's my community shelf. Prompts I don't want would be big book, translated book, foiled cover only because I don't think I have any foiled covers left that I have not read. Any fantasy or like future books, like future or past books because I'm not a historical person and I'm not a fantasy person. You know, I'm getting pretty picky here, but we're gonna see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my vlog for my first roll, and then we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but I also have schoolwork, so we'll see, like, how much of the reading I actually get done. I am excited to, like, get rolling. My die just came in yesterday, and the little, like, figurine I'm going to be moving around is, like, my little Groot, and he's just so cute. I love him. But yeah, so that's how this will go. We will see if the board is nice to me. You know, hopefully it is. But if you're planning on taking part in this readathon, let me know down below if you're rolling as you go or if you already did your rolls. I just don't know how much I'm gonna read. Let me know if you're participating. If you're not doing this one, if you're doing another readathon, you know, what are your plans for September? Are you planning to read a lot? You know, not so much, trying to take a chill month because I know it's like back to school season. But yeah, let me know your plans down below. Like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.